All right, we need those rookies to the front straight away. We got one coming out. Rookies, bring them to the front straight away. All right, we're getting ready to get this race night started here at the Bull Ring. These are your rookies, your five to eight-year-olds. Got all the dads and grandpas checking their way out off the front straight away. We start them from a dead stop because some of these kids have little to no racing experience. They're going to be watching the flagman. You've got Jackson Hazelou and Ethan Warden on that front row. They're ready to go. Green flag is out. Ethan with a good start. Here comes Colton Gamble down the inside on that number 77. He's been having some pretty good runs here lately off of turn two. 
Gamble to the inside, taking the lead from Warden. Elwood now up to third in the number 28. He's been getting a little faster each week, too. Everybody up to speed now. Hasloo, after starting on the pole, he's back to fourth. Connor Wilkerson there in the number 88 and fifth. The number 12 of Jacob Winter here in the number, and that black number 12 back there, he's in fifth. And Peyton Brinson in the number 23. She's making her second start here. Said that her racing name is Pedro. <laughs> Down the back straightaway. Gamble, still your leader. Junior one, junior one. You should be at the grid. Junior one at the grid, followed by junior two and junior three. Junior one, two, and three. Bring them to the grid, guys and girls. Gamble getting by the lap cart now. Here comes Ethan Warden. He's going to swing it to the outside. Quick move there as Brinson had moved down a little bit. All your rookie division races tonight sponsored, or all your children's divisions tonight, sponsored by Quality Marine Surplus. We got two on top of each other. Looks like uh, <laughs> Ethan Warden and Weston Elwood. Running second and third. Elwood on top of the of Elwood or uh, Warden's cart there. Track crew over there pretty quick. Going to get them pulled apart. Make sure everybody's okay. Getting this night started here at the bull ring. Pretty simple night tonight. Not a whole lot of special events or anything going on. Just wanting to have a Nice, fun night of racing. Try to say thanks to some of our other race sponsors. Big thanks, as always, to Racing Fast for First Responders. Whoop, we're going to have a hit right there as we got one coming in on the front straightaway a little hot. He's new, though. He'll learn it. He'll learn it. It looks like everybody's okay. That's why we have the rookie divisions. They got to start somewhere. Anyway, we were saying thanks to Racing Fast for First Responders. They uh, covered the bill on some fire extinguishers out here for us. They are an organization that takes care of our first responders in their time of need. Jeff Star Racing Engines. Another one of our sponsors here out at the racetrack, the official engine builder of TZ Motorsports. All your children's divisions tonight. The trophies were sponsored by Old Fart Racing and Mike Sigler. As we're getting ready to go back to green. We'll get them lined up here. And a little miscommunication there. We may have had another miscommunication there. But Gamble's going to go right back to the inside and take that lead position back away off of turn four. So when it all shakes out, everybody's still in the same place they were when the lights went down. White flag in the air. Gamble, your leader. Warden second. Elwood third. Got Connor Wilkerson moving up the challenge here on this white flag lap. But this one's going to be all Colton Gamble, the number 77, taking himself a win here in the heat race for the rookies. Warden, Elwood, Wilkerson, Hazelou rounding out that top five. Jacob Winter here in the number 12 is going to get six. And Peyton Brinson, she'll be bringing it around in that number 23, taking the seventh position.
Coming up next is going to be your Junior 1 division. Junior 1 is coming out. That means Junior 2 should be on deck, followed by Junior 3. First call for wing champs. First call for wing champs. Kelsey Wilkerson in that number six will be starting on the pole. Outside will be the number 16 of Hayden Erickson and the number two of Parker Haley. He'll be in the second row by himself back there. They'll be going green this time. Bye. Nice tight formation. Everybody following exactly what they were told at the driver's meeting on that one. Green flag is out. Parker Haley sliding through on the inside there. He's going to go to the front. Hayden Erickson falling there in the second. Kelsey back to third. Junior two, junior two. You are on deck. Junior two on deck. Parker Haley, he's won a lot of races here this season, trying to seal himself up a Junior 1 championship this year. Hayden Erickson hanging right there with him this week. She gets a little faster every week. Swinging it out wide, looking for a little bit more speed. And she's right here with Haley. We'll see if the card of Wilkerson plays into this one as they're going to catch her. Wilkerson down on that inside line. She's holding it low. There should be plenty of room to get by on the outside. Parker digs to the inside, has to get on the brakes, swings it back to the outside, loses a lot of momentum. And Erickson's right there with him as a white flag comes out. Down the back straightaway one last time. Wilkerson with a quick loop, but she brings it right back around. And they're going to be looking at the checkered flag here in the Junior 1 division. And Parker Haley's going to take himself another win. Hayden Erickson second. And Kelsey Wilkerson is third. Coming up next, your Junior 2s. Coming out now, your junior two heat race. P.J. Rudiman in that double zero. Ran with us for the first time, the last time we raced. For his first time, the last time we raced. Pulled in a fourth position. He'll be starting on the pole tonight in this heat race. He's got Randy Smith beside him in the number eight. Richard Nelson in the number five. Zach Zachary in the 43. And Hayden Starks coming back to run with us in that number 25. And they were ready to go. Got some contact back there between Starks and Rudiman. Randy Smith to the lead, Nelson second. Rudiman and Zachary right there, fourth and fifth, or third and fourth. Rudiman swinging it way out, looking for a line to run up beside Nelson there. 
Junior three, you should be on the grid. Junior three on the grid. We've got a battle for second. Rudiman to the inside. Nelson giving up that bottom lane, and Rudiman will go to second. Wing champ, you'll be behind those junior threes. Wing champ, you'll be behind the junior threes. Don't forget to get your 50-50 tickets over at the concession stand. 50-50 tickets over at the concession stand. That 50-50, there we got Zach Zachary into the bank. He's going to keep it going. So we'll stay under green. I was saying before Zach spun out there that the 50-50 uh, tickets are available over at the concession stand. Half the money goes into the points fund. The other half goes to one lucky winner. Off a of turn four, we're going to be looking at that white flag. Randy Smith one more time around. Rudiman riding second. Nelson Starks and Zachary rounding out this field on this last lap of Junior 2 heat race. And Randy Smith is going to take this one home. P.J. Rudiman second. Nelson, Starks, and Zachary will be your final finishing order for the Junior 2s. Junior three with a pretty good field again tonight. We've got eight of them. They are a little over anxious here. Didn't get them all really lined up real well. So we're gonna let them get them bunched up a little better and go one more lap. You got Timothy Zachary on the pole there. It's legit. He drew a nine. <laughs> I almost told her to put it back in there. Outside pole, Aaron Alvarez. Inside second row, C.J. Nelson. You got Cole Conley in the three. Caitlin Booth in the 27. Hannah Smith in the 22. You got Brown out there and Aiden Sykes in the number four. Alvarez just not keeping up on that. He there. Nelson and Zachary side by side. Nelson with a little, well, he, Zachary with a little bit of advantage there, but there comes, I believe that's Booth, right through the middle, and everybody bunches up in three one more time. They're three wide down the front straightaway. Here comes Travis Brown down the outside. Travis Brown with a good line down the back straightaway, has some momentum. Him and Booth side by side down into turn three. Booth with a little bit of advantage. Here comes Hurricane Hannah in that number 22 getting in on the battle. This has let Zachary get out front. A little bit of clean air while they're battling back there, but everybody's going to close back in if they straighten out. Booth and Smith now. This was your top three last week at the end of the feature, and they swapped it out pretty good a few times. Hannah Smith looking to the outside. Going to try to take that outside line and get a run down that back straightaway. They'll pull back up even. Side-by-side -side battle for second. Hannah Smith, Caitlin Booth putting on a show back there. This is allowing Zachary to stay out front as they're racing for position. If these girls get straightened out, he's in trouble. Booth with a little bit of advantage, but here comes Smith back down the outside. And Smith now to second. Wing champ, wing champ, you should be on the grid. Wing champ followed by run what you brung. Wing champ, run what you brung. Hannah Smith on the white flag lap takes it to the lead. Zachary falling to second. Smith coming from the outside third row starting position. Caitlin Booth driving it in on the inside there. And it looks like she's gonna take away the second position. Zachary falls to third. Looks like Sykes, Brown, 
Nelson and Alvarez. All right, Wing Champ are coming out next. Run What You Brung is in the grid behind them, followed by Box Stock 400. Wing Champ's coming out. Run What You Brung, followed by Box Stock 400. First call for Predator 375. You'll follow those Box Stock 400. All right, Wing Champ, you were supposed to be in the grid, and apparently there's nobody in the grid. Come on, guys. We were on a good pace here. And I know y'all got the longest drive. Why aren't you in the grid? All right, Wing Champ, y'all, we're going to go ahead and go with the run what you brung. They're in the grid and ready to go. I really need y'all to get up there immediately or you're going to forego that heat race. We have to keep this in order. There's a reason we run the lineup that we run because we space out other classes. This gives time for drivers that run multiple classes to get in. And now we are kind of off the pace. So Box Stock 400, you'll be on deck, followed by Pred 375. Box Stock 400 and Preds, bring them to the grid. Again, this is why we need everybody to know where you start, know what's going on, and make sure you're at the grid when it's time to be at the grid. We are on live on YouTube, so everybody at home, wing champs, holding up the show. So if you're a fan of the wing champs, call them on the cell phone, maybe. Tell them to, I don't know, bring it to the grid. That'd be great. We're ready to watch some racing. I thought we were sending out the run what you brung or something here. Pretty nice of them to join us. All right. Well, I guess we had some of our wing champs, and they could the run what you brung blocked in, and a little bit of a mess. 
So if y'all could all help us out and make sure you're at the grid when you're supposed to be at the grid, that'd be great. So we could do some racing. Still waiting on one. Okay, we're going to go green. We have a time limit. Green flag is out for the wing champs. Run what you brung, you're on deck. Run what you brung, followed by the box stock 400 and then the Predator 375. OJC right out front. Mike Perkins followed by Tim C. Wright. We've also got Virgil Andrews out there in the number 10. Joe Alvello in the 222. Perkins was a winner last time out in that Devil's Zero. He's riding second tonight. We've got one in the bank over the inside bank. That's Virgil Andrews down there. It looks like he's hung up, and we'll have the caution flag come out. So run what you brung on deck. Box stock 400, Predator 375. Get all these guys lined back up here in the wing champs. And we're ready to go back to green flag racing with OJC right out front and Perkins in second and Tim C right in third. It's your wing champ division. They got some crazy little animal motors on there. With just about everything you could want to do to them done. They've been running here with us all season, making a Pretty long trip up to ride, and we're happy to have them here on a Friday night in Ocala, Florida. Wing champs. Perkins taking a look to the bottom on OJC right now. He's got the line down into one. OJC right with a good line, though, to get some speed off of two. Breaks it loose a little bit. That allows Perkins to have a good run and down into three, and he's going to take the lead away. I'm sure they're not done yet, though, as there's a little contact down there in three and four. See, right, will be looking back on that top side again. This time, Perkins slides up there, and there's a little more contact back there as Perkins had lost momentum. 
He lifted a little bit there on the back straightaway. That allowed OJ and Tim C. Wright to get by. And Tim Seawright finding the dirt bank, but he's going to keep it going. That's going to leave it back to a two-car race as the white flag is in the air for O.J. Seawright. Flagman Todd Maton getting the twirl down. Checkered flag. O.J. Seawright's going to win this one. Perkins second. Tim Seawright third. Virgil Andrews will be fourth. And Joe Alvello will be fifth. Coming up next, your run what you brung. That's right, run what you brung. Hope you brung enough. If you can bolt the motor to it, and it's a go-kart frame, a regular racing go-kart frame, we'll let you race it. Got to have the right tires on it. We always give them a few laps there to wind them out a little bit, clear them out. And we're all lined up. Dustin Mitch will be on the pole. Johnny Zachary outside pole. Dan Donaldson outside or inside second row. And Rich Hill with that number 44 coming to run with us tonight. Flagman's got the lights out. Rich Hill's cart just shut down. Something happened to Rich Hill's cart back there on the back straightaway. He's going to need a little assistance. Box stock 400, you should be on deck, followed by Pred 375 and Crate 375. Box stock 400, Pred 375 and Crate 375. Looks like Rich Hill got it fired back up, and he'll be ready to go. Randy Smith, Randy Smith, your father would like you at your pit. Randy Smith to your pit. They're trying to get him wound up here. Johnny Zachary will go out front. Here comes Donaldson, Mitch back to third. Ridge Hill got to, has a line. He's going to pull up beside Mitch. We've got some contact down in three and four, but they get on through, and Donaldson going to go to the front. Dan Donaldson to the front. Here comes Johnny Zachary back to the inside. 
And Dustin Mitch goes back by Ridge Hill for third as Hill had slid up the track a little bit. Wild horsepower out here. Dan Donaldson out front. Johnny Zachary in second. Ridge Hill had got back by me. Here comes Dustin Mitch again. Hill will pull back up beside him. All kinds of horsepower out there in the run what you run division. Dan Donaldson still your leader. Johnny Zachary second. Rich Hill slowing way down. He's going to bring it in. We're down to three now. Donaldson still your leader. Zachary still second. Zachary way loose off a of turn two. Donaldson just clocking off laps. He'll be looking at two laps to go this time by Dan Donaldson. Only two laps to go. Run what you wrong. Box stock 400, box stock 400. You should be on the grid, followed by Predator 375 and Crate 375. One more lap to go. Run what you've run. Dan Donaldson has this one under control in the heat race here tonight, and he's going to be your winner. Dan Donaldson breaking out two in a row, heat race-wise anyway. He'll be looking for two in a row in the feature. Zachary second. And Mitch third. Box stock 400 coming up next, followed by Predator 375 and Crate 375. Box stock 400 on the track now. Predator 375, you should be in the grid ready to go, followed by crate 375. And box stock 350, you'll follow those crates. Billy Newhouse going to be leading them around here to green in that number 21. Yeah, Brian Horton falling into second. Brandon Hellyard in third. Newhouse with this one under control at the moment. Horton there in second. I know it's not Sean in the double zero cart. He said someone else was running it tonight. I got to make sure who. Mims. Mims is in the cart tonight. Mims in the double zero. And we got Scott Brogan out there in the number three as well. Filling out this field tonight. Crate 375. Predator 375 is on deck, followed by Crate 375 and Box Stock 350. We do have a Masters Division tonight. And the intermission will follow the Masters Division. Two laps to go, Box Stock 400. Newhouse still your leader.
White flag is out for Newhouse. One more time around. Box Stock 400 Heat Race here at Marion County Speedway. Checkered flag in the air. Newhouse is going to win this one. Horton will be second. Hellyard will be third. Mims fourth. And Brogan fifth. Holland. You know someone else wrote in my book. <laughs> Brandon Holland. I'm deciphering other writing. He's probably like, why'd they call me Hellyard? <laughs> Predator 375 coming out next. Crate 375, you should be at the grid, followed by Box Stock 350. Crate 375, Box Stock 350s, and Masters. So we got Papa Sig on the pole in the number 28. Randy Glick outside pole number 24. Brian LaFrance in the number 10 inside second row. David Holly in the 24H out there on the outside second row. John Greer in the 28X in that third row. Don't have a name on the number two. Got Buster Grizzab in the 92 and Cole Lawson in the zero. Box, or excuse me, Predator 375 racing. Glick going to jump out to the early lead. LaFrance looks like he's going to bring it up to second. Papa Sig levels off in third, but down the outside, back straightaway. Here comes Cole Lawson. He's going to come from the back to third almost immediately. Papa Sig settles in fourth. Grizzab back here in the number 92. He usually runs in our crate division. He's shaking down a cart for our upcoming veterans race. We have a veterans race the week of Veterans Day in the Predator class. All veterans are welcome to come in, get in for free on that night, and we're going to invite the first responders in to race in this race as well. As they level off a little bit here and straighten out, we have Glick in the lead, LaFrance in second. He's got a challenge from Lawson. Lawson looking to the inside. All the way back to fourth. Papa Sig holding on to that position. He's got a challenge from Buster Grizzab now to the inside. David Holly coming to run for us or coming to run with us for the first time in that 28 or 24 H cart. And he's got John Greer back there with him in the 28X. Glick now with a fairly comfortable lead over Bryant LaFrance. LaFrance with a little bit of room between him and Lawson. Two laps to go in this Predator race. Crate 375, you should be at the grid ready to go. Crate 375 at the grid ready to go, followed by the box stock 350 and the Masters. White flag will be in the air. Glick trying to get himself a victory here tonight. Looks like he's on pace to catch one in the heat race, and I'm sure he'll be fast again in the feature. Takes a little look over his shoulder on the back straightaway, sees he's got some clear sailing, and Randy Glick is going to win the heat race here in the Predator 375. LaFrance will be second. Lawson will be third. Papa Sig holding on for fourth. John Greer getting up to fifth. David Holly in sixth. And Buster Grizzab in seventh. That was your Predator 375. Those are bone stock Predator motors available at Harbor Freight. And when they're on sale, they're only $99. Good entry level way to get into racing. 
We don't allow them to do anything to them. They keep the muffler. They keep everything just as it came from Harbor Freight. I think they changed the spark plug out, put some good oil in it. And they are pretty dependable motors uh, over the years of running them. Uh, we have had, you know, typical engine failure that you would have with any kind of race engine. But for the money that you spend, there's guys that will race them all season long. Coming out next, Crate 375. Crates, another division. These are sealed engines from Box Stock Project. They come sealed directly from Box Stock Project or wherever your local distributor is. So everybody has the same motor, and it becomes a setup game. You got Elizabeth Phillips in that 314 coming up to run with us tonight. Chris Grawl in the number 420. I believe that's James Erickson in the 07 and Buster Grizzab in the 21. Lights are out on the track. They're going to go green this time by. Box stock 350, you should be at the grid. You got a couple of heat races there, followed by that Masters heat race. Green flag is out. We're going to go racing. Phillips moves up, leaves that bottom line open, and Erickson shoots through, brings Grizzle with him. Now, we like to talk about Buster Grizzle's cart because that thing is straight out of the 90s, and he's won three in a row. This track being kind of big and round allows for the older carts to have a good, good chance. We have a few carts that are well over 15 to 20 years old that run up front every week here. Grizzle with a little wipe of the face shield. Sets his sights back on Erickson now that he can see again. Track looking really good tonight. Andy doing some wonderful prep work during the week here, giving him a nice smooth surface. And you'll see some different faces moving towards the front. As this is a little different track than some of them are used to. It's been dry this week. Buster Grizzle to the inside of Erickson taking the lead away. Swings it out. Erickson will go back to the bottom. They'll be side by side. But looks like Grizzle has cleared him and he'll be your leader. Erickson still right there with Grism. Two laps to go. Crate 375. Go back to third. The battle for third is between Phillips and Graw. Phillips still holding on to the position right here at the moment. White flag will be out. One more time around. Box stock 350. Box stock 350. You're on deck. Followed by Masters. Chris Graw on the last lap down the back straightaway. Taking that position away from Phillips. She's going to go back to the inside. Try to get it back. Grizzle's going to win. Eric's going to be second. And it looks like Phillips is going to come back to third. Graw finishing fourth. All right, coming out now, your box stock 350, followed by the Masters.
You got Charles Smith, your leader. Corey Mitchell, second. Trevor Tharp, there in third. Bryson Chauncey in the number nine and fourth. I believe that's Charlie Smith to the inside of Chauncey. Two laps to go. Smith still your leader. Corey Mitchell second. And Charles Smith is going to take this first heat race in box stock 350. Corey Mitchell will be second. Trevor Tharp will be third. Followed by Smith and Chauncey. One more heat race in box stock 350 and Masters before intermission. The 14, uh, Zane Caleb pulling out there. Did not work out well. I think he says that's enough of that. We've got Tyler Hill coming to run with us tonight in that 44. Uh, Dylan Sanderson in the 70. Joe Lundy in the zero. We're going to go green this time by Box Stock 350. Charlie Smith to the lead. Hill to second. Lundy and Sanderson side by side. Lundy getting a little bit of the dirt bank action there. He'll keep it going. Charlie Smith now with a little bit of a lead here in your box stock 350 heat race number two. Masters, Masters, you're on deck in the Masters division. Charlie Smith. 
Good little lead now. Here comes Dylan Sanderson to the inside of Hill. And Sanderson will take the second position away. Hill looks back to the inside. Going to try to take it back. Side by side. For that second position. Sanderson use it, using all of that high line there. And has a good run down the back straight away. Lundy getting around off the back of turn two over there one more time. And he'll keep it going. And Charlie Smith will be looking at two to go this time by. Smith now catching the car to Lundy. Shouldn't be a problem here as he's got plenty of distance between himself and second place. Lundy moves up, gives some room here on the white flag lap. And I believe Joe will be coming back out. Joe Lundy will be coming back out for the Masters division. Checkered flag in the air. Charlie Smith is going to win this one. Dylan Sanderson will be second. Tyler Hill will be third, and Joe Lundy, he'll be fourth. That was your second heat race for Box Stock 350, and we have one more heat race to get in the books here. Masters division. So Lundy would be coming back out as long as everything's all right with his cart. I thought he might have just stayed out there, but maybe he didn't realize he was right back up again. He got Dale Rogers in the number 12. He'll be starting on the pole. Richard Booth in the number 17. He'll be outside pole. Dale Rogers taking it to the lead. A double zero riding up into second. I don't know which one's on there on the double zero for this go round. Booth is right there in third. Glad Richard getting a chance to get a little bit of seat time here tonight. The Masters division, this is 35 and up. Three hundred seventy five pounds. And the double zero car finding the dirt bank out there. Caution is going to come out. Kicking a little bit of dirt up into the air. Track crew getting across there. Going to get him straightened back out. Intermission coming up. I don't know if anyone walked around with the 50-50, but we will be doing the 50-50 drawing if anybody bought some tickets. I don't know. Usually I see someone walk by with it. Still got the EMTs out there on the track, so... We'll wait one more lap to go green. Rob bringing it around. He'll uh, pull in the side-by-side, -side and we'll go green next time by. Dale Rogers will still be your leader. Booth is now back up to second. Lundy joining the field out there. And the double zero car, he'll go to third. He'll still be in third. Third. 
Rogers looking pretty strong tonight. Takes a little look over the shoulder. Sees he's got a little bit of breathing room. In your Masters division, just one heat race of Masters tonight. Lundy in the double zero side by side back there. Lundy going to try to make the outside pass. Now he's a couple laps down, but having some fun out there racing. Winding down these heat races. Booth sliding way out that time on turn two, losing a little bit of ground to Rogers and allowing the double zero to close back up. It'll be two laps to go this time by in the 375 Masters division. And Booth sliding up one more time. The double zero looked to the bottom, but he just found all kinds of dirt back there. He's behind the dirt bank, down and out of the groove. I think they're going to let him go ahead and stay green. He's in a pretty safe position down there. I believe he's all the way inside the berm. Checkered flag will be in the air, and Dale Rogers is going to take this Masters heat race win. Richard Booth will be second. And I think that might advance Lundy up to third after the getting a, basically getting a lap back on the double zero. That brings us to intermission. It is just after 9 o'clock. We'll definitely be getting the rookie heat race. Or excuse me, the rookie feature division. We'll want the rookies to be taking that green flag around 925 or so. Around 925. Give us a few minutes to get some lineups together. We'll get them posted up and let you know when they are posted. Check one, two. One more time. We're going to put a little bit Check of water one, two, down three. on the track. Don't worry. He's not going to drown right, it. And gentlemen, we're coming around here. By the time we get out there and get done, uh, it'll Smith probably be there. just about Robbie the same Smith as it was when you went for your heat races. Alongside. Row number two is going to be Tommy Kuzman. Alongside if him, you need anything Ross. from the parts trailer, the TZ Motorsports parts trailer is on the outside of turn one over there. The concession stand is right there beside it. Got plenty of food cooking over there. Looks like not too bad of a line right now. Might not be a bad time to go get yourself a burger, hot dog, some fries, some nachos, anything like that. There's all kinds of food and cold drinks over there. That's the TZ Motorsports parts trailer and concession stand. Along him is going to be alongside him is going to be driver number 51. That's Holly Hughes. Next row is going to be driver number 24 on the inside. That's Cliff Evans. Next up is the 23 of Rosalind Moss. Row seven is going to be the 29 P car. That's Marcus and Douglas, and we're racing, ladies and gentlemen. We run away. Driver number 77 leads him down. Robbie Smith down the back straight away. Right behind him, driver number 21, Tommy Kuzman with a good start. Oh, we got a spinner there in turn number four. Caution's out, caution's out. Driver number nine spins it over there on turn number four. That's Steve Diamond over there. Right in the entrance of turn number four. Got another car spun over there to, to uh, try to uh, miss that car. So gonna get him relined up here as we've got a spin over there at the exit of turn number three. Steve Diamond looped it. All right, we're green. Here they come in at turn number four, screaming out of four straight away as driver number 77 leads them into turn number one. The exit of turn number two, driver number 77 already starting to make hay. It's driver number 21, Cuban in that second spot. Third place is to 95, but here comes the nine looking down low. That's Steve Diamond. 
Diamond looking to race in there for that third spot, but can't get it done. Driver number 95 still got it. Meanwhile, back up the leader pack. It's driver number 77, your leader, Robbie Smith, looking to check out. 21, Cuban in the second spot. Third place, driver number 95, Paige Moss. Good battle for fourth place there. Driver number nine comes up and gets it from the 9R of Rick Ross. Leader already started to put drivers a lap down as he's working around the number 91 car. Here comes Robbie Smith on the rev limiter, the number 77, taking it off like a rocket ship out here tonight. Just behind him is still the 21 of Tommy Cuban in that second spot. Third place, way back in third place, is driver number 95, that's Paige Moss. 77 looking down low, putting cars a lap down there, working his way down the back straight away. Ronnie Smith with about a 10 car leg lead, drives her down low out of four, down the front straight away. The driven car, number 77, showing him how it's done out here in the wing class. Driver number 21 still holding down that second spot as he comes out of turn number four, working through the lap car. It's going to be a battle to see who can get through these lap cars the best. Driver number 77 working them real well, but the second place car doing as well as well. He's down there on the inside as a 21K. We're talking about your second place driver, but it's still all the number 77, 21K still in that second spot. And third, it looks like that's still a 95. We'll double check that. And there goes that 95 holding on that third spot, but the 9R of Rick Ross is coming, challenging for that fourth spot. Meanwhile, leader working down his way down to turn number one and the exit turn number two. It's all about Ricky Smith, ladies and gentlemen, in the 77 car. Smith dives down into turn number one, the exit number two, with a little, a lot of breathing room now. No lappers in front of him, so it's clear sailing for the 77. Meanwhile, the 21 with one lapper to go between him and the leader, and the third place driver starting to fall way back back there, looking way back where the third place driver is. Still, here comes the 95 in that third spot. A lot of lappers in between. Halfway flags out. Just 13 more to go for your leader. In the 77 car, Robbie Smith. Smith working the entrance of turn number three, blasting hard out of turn number four, hard on the gas down the front straightaway. Second place machines trying to close that gap. That's a 21 of Cuban. Third place driver coming through. He's still got a lot of company. Rick Ross all over the 95 of Paige Moss. Third place battle still looking stout. The 95 and the 9. There goes the 9 now. They're going to get third place. Right over 9 R. Driver number 9 R. So I say Rick Ross now in the third spot according to my book. Driver number 77. Working his way up through this field. Looking to put a lap. He's left all the way up to about third place it looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Ronnie Smith on fire here in the wing class. Oh, we got a spin right in front of the leader. Spin on a turn number two over there. Two cars. It looks like the 29 and the nine. And a tough break there for that nine. Oh, Rick Ross, Rick Ross had just taken that third spot according to my paperwork. Working a caution, ladies and gentlemen, as we've got a spin over in turn number two. The 29 and the nine are involved in that one. We'll line them back up. All right, we're on the way, single file, restart.
right, ladies and gentlemen, how about that main event? Hey, Winkar's putting on a show for you. I got to tell you something. This is the first time I've announced one of these babies, and man, this is some good stuff. I hope they have me back tomorrow night. Whoa. All right, let me go ahead and let's go three, two, one, shall we? Third place driver, where's Steve Diamond at? Steve, there you are. Hop on out of there. Well, let's go ahead and grab second place at 21K. Tommy Cusman. Tommy, one hell of a drive out there, man. You cats put on a show. Tell us about that race, brother. Uh, you know, we were good, but it was definitely Robbie's race to lose tonight. Uh, he was definitely way faster. Tell us about your sponsors. I know they got a lot of them to thank. Uh, we got Sherman Excavating, PXP Race, whereas Lamari built a great motor. Uh, Kelly Racing Fuels, Smith Titanium, you know, all them helped me put this together. All right, there he is. Let's give him a big hand. Second place driver, Mr. Tommy Kinsman. All right, driver number nine. He had to earn this one. Third place driver, Mr. Steve Diamond. Steve, Yowza! That was some racing, bub. Tell us about it, man. Yeah, first off, I got to thank my buddy Nick and, and Dusty. We've been working on this thing all day long. Got to thank John Atherton for letting me, letting me drive the car. Also got to thank John Call for the engine. Um, we got a little bit of work to do, as we can see, but... Um, where we started the day, where we're at right now. I'm so super blessed, and I'm so thankful for everybody that gives me a hand. Um, it's just a, it's a great evening, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow and see if we can give them a little bit more. All right, there is big hand for driver number nine, Steve Diamond. All right, next up, this guy's on fire. If you wanted to call him tonight, you had to dial a different area code than 386, I can tell you that. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy, hard on the gas, Pedal on the metal, flag to flag win here for driver number 77, Mr. Robbie Smith. Robbie, first and foremost, congratulations. But second, man, how in the heck did you get through that lap traffic like that? Well, um, you know, a month ago I almost watched Tommy Kunzman win the, you know, Tulsa shootout out while weighing hay main. So I got a lot of respect for him. I, you know, just about look up to the guy. He's a class act driver. You know, I saw his nose, what, three times in the heat race. You know, we raced side by side. So a lot to say about him and, and his stuff. You know, they, they're on. So to, to be able to take one against him, you know, that's that's uh, super cool. And and uh, just can't thank everybody uh, who gets us here. And um, especially Bill with the track and Joe and and uh, John Call, everybody who put this on. Um, but especially Bill and everybody with the track has been working on I mean, it's fantastic. It's super racy, top to bottom. I mean, I'm running different grooves, both ends. So. All right, his thing looked like he was on fire. Also, I guess a big hat's off to Silas Farms and the Club Cafe and Hay Sales. I'm going to get those sponsors in for you. Man, what an absolute fabulous evening, ladies and gentlemen. The Rocket Man, Robbie Smith, comes home victorious. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you are not at the fence, then you need to check your pulse. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is the feature event in the non-wing class. We've got 24 drivers looking for to bring home that checkered flag here tonight. I'd like to once again welcome everybody here to the Bull Ring. We're racing live at the Marion County Speedway. I'm John Vetus, your announcer, and we have been having one heck of a time up here. This is some definitely over-the-top racing here tonight. These U6SA drivers are sure putting on a show for us. We're sure glad to have them here this evening, and we've got a lot more in store for you, not only uh, this main event tonight, but tomorrow as well. So if you're, uh, if you're here tonight, make sure you make plans to show up tomorrow night. I think we've even got some more classes I think we got some micro minis showing up here tomorrow as well, so should be a good show here. But let's not jump ahead too fast here because we've got 24 drivers out here in this non-wing uh, division ready to go out there and let the hair go with the hide. Okay, they're going to go ahead and roll them off here. Zach Gorski and Harley Hughes in the 51 going to make up that first row there. Eddie Moss in second row in the 195 along with Robbie Smith on the 77. Robbie Smith, as you know, just won the wing main event. Tom Kuzman on the 21K, Rick Ross on the 912.
All right, folks, get them lined up here. These engines getting warmed up, and these drivers knowing that this, uh, this is the big one. The cats have been out here practicing hard, and they've been racing hard through the heat races, and now we are at the main event. Once again, 24 cars deep in this one, ladies and gentlemen. 30 laps of action coming up here for you as this is our final event of the evening. All right, get them good and bunched up here. Looks like we've got maybe about one to go to settle this one. We'll get this thing started. All right, let's get them lined up here. Zach Gorski and Holly Hughes gonna lead them down out of turn number four. And ladies and gentlemen, we are racing three wide down the front straightaway. It's the 07, gets down low, but no, it's the white car, pushes them up front, but the 07 gets the lead back. Here we go down the front straightaway. Driver number 07, Jack Gorski, leads this one in the battle for second. It's hot and heavy as the field works its way through. It's the 07, still holds down to the point there, and he's starting to stretch a little bit. It looks like that's 77. They're in the second spot. We'll double check that number as they come by. And we've got a spinner coming out of three. I'm gonna get them all lined up here. I think we're gonna try to go green here this time by leaders. Coming around turn number three and we're green. And Robert number 07 gets a lot better start there this time. The 95 looks down low, trying to grab that second spot. And look at that number 95 car. Can he hold it? No. Well. All right, let's see if we can get, stack them up right and go green, and we are, we're green. Here we go, out of the gate, they go. And the 07 and the 95, right out of the gate. Zach Gorski at 195, Eddie Moss. And Eddie Moss got some company there. It's like the 77 working on the outside, trying to steal that second place. Here they come down the front straight away. It's the 07, the 77, and the 195. Robbie Smith making his presence down right here, and we've got another caution. Got a spinner down there in the exit of turn number three, right there in the middle of three and four. All right, looks like we might be able to cut them loose this time. Looks like they're lined up pretty good out there. Head fragment seems okay. Well, we're green. 21K looking to grab that third spot on the outside. Tom Kuzman from fourth to third, and he's looking for more. Here come the leaders down the front straight away. It's the 07, the 77, and the 21K. And we've got a spin coming. All right, we're green. The 07, 77, and the 195. That's how they run in turn number one. And check it out. The 21 wants his spot back, and he's got it. So the 21K will not be des uh, denied that third place spot. Let's see if he can hold a three wheeler out of turn number four. And we've got another caution out here. All right, tough break there for the 21 car. Billy Newhouse, front end damage on that one. We're 
look at the main event here. This feature non uh, non wing main event, should I say? Yeah, I think we've got about maybe nine or ten laps in. We might be a third of the way through this one. Drivers having a hard time keeping this thing green for more than a couple laps. All right, we're green. It's the 07, the 77, and the 21K. 21K gets a good bike coming out of two. He's looking for that second place. Can he get it done? Watch your eyes. Keep your eyes on Tom Kuzman in that third place car. He's coming. Oh, he gets the door slammed on him. 77 shuts the door to him like the cheap shoe salesman. Down the front straight away. They check that the back straight away. They go. It's the 07 at the point. The 77 and the 21K. Here comes the 21K looking down the line of four. Side by side, they come. The battle for second place is a stiff one. 77 still got it, but that 21K is not giving it up. And the 07 is not running away. Look at this, a battle for the lead. The 77 looks down low, can't get it done. Great racing up in the front of the pack. The 07 has got some company. It's the 77 and the 21K. Leader stole in turn number three. 77 looks low, 07 high, and it looks like the 07 is going to hold the spot. Zach Gorski, the 07, has got some company this time out. Leader's coming up on a lap car. Let's see if that bunches them back up. 07 still at the point out of turn number four. 07 dives down below the lap car to stay with the 77. 21K gets held up just a little bit. Leader, storm out of turn number four. It's the 07 of Gorski, your leader. Second place is the 77. Robbie Smith. And that familiar 21K still holding on to the third spot. That's Kuhnsman. Hats off to the 78. Chase Cabrera doing a good job out there. Holding on to that fourth spot. Looking for more. Puts a four-driver breakaway with the 07 leading them. Another lap in the books for the 07. Korski trying to hold on, hoping there's no more caution so he can stay ahead of that 77 Robbie Smith. And I'll tell you what happened to the 195 of Eddie Moss, trying to check him up through the pack. The 07 comes down the front straight away, leading the pack there. Free track ahead of him, a couple lappers in between the second and third place driver. Now they get past the lap traffic. Clear selling for the top four drivers. Here they come, the 07 of Gorski. 77, Rick Ross. And what a great run by the 21K of Kuhnsman. And we got a caution, caution. Got a spinner over here in the apex of turns one and two. All the cars getting by clean here. We don't have a number on that driver. And it still looks nice and smooth out there. All right, let's get ready to go racing. And we're green. 07-77-21K, that's your leaderboard. And it looks like everybody clean and green now. Turn number one, leaders working the way down the back straight away. And turn number three, exiting num turn number four. It's still Zach Gors Gorski on the 07. The 77 and the 21K, followed by that number 78 machine. Chase Cabri there in the fourth spot. Look at Cabri. He's looking up there to try to grab third. And it looks like he's going to make the move. Move Cabri up to third spot. And that number 78 machine. Leaders working the way out of turn number two, down the back straight away, still the 07, the 77, and your new third place driver to number 78. Cabri. And looks like we've got another caution waving out here. Car spinning down on the inside of turn number four. Looks like we've got a pretty good lineup. We might get to go green this time by, and we are green one more time. 07, 77. And look at number 78, gonna look down large, trying to grab second spot. And he can't get it done out of turn number two. Oh seven comes up a little bit high to turn four, might open the door, no he didn't. 
Watch that battle for second place, driver number 78. Just lost it. Can we get the 50-50 up to the tower, please, so we can get that drawn? 50-50, we need you up to the tower so we can get that drawn and get on with our features here. Rookies, we want you to start working your way to the front straight away. Rookies, we need y'all to come now and start working your way to the front straight away. 50-50, if you could bring that to the tower, please. 50-50 to the tower. Smith up high. Smith holds him off. Here comes Krabby attacking again out of two. Can't get it done. Leaders working the way down the box straight away to turn number four. Whoa, look at the bonus eye move out of 77. He came in here hot, real hot. Couldn't hold it, though. White flags in the air. One to go to settle this one. Leader working his way down the back straight away with the final time. And Zach Gorski wins it. Driving him below seven with a checkered flag. 77 comes on second. A great run there by Robbie Smith. Check one, two. All right, how about that for a main event, ladies and gentlemen? That's some great racing there for you. 07 getting out of the car there, Zach Gorski. What a run there by the 07. Give it up, Zach. Working our way back here. Where's that 78? Chase Cabri. Chase, a few words here real quick. Nice run there. For, it looked like you were going to make the podium there at first, but a nice move there on the 77 with a few laps to go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Driver number 78, Chase Cabri. Yeah, the uh, car was really good. It just was really hard to pass and make up time. Everybody was, was pretty even. Um, I felt like there towards the end we got pretty good down on the bottom of three and four. And it, Like I said, it was just really hard to make up time and, and in, if you did it was way too hard to make passes how narrow it was down down there in one so um hats off to zach he did a good job happy for him uh that thing he's had some problems with it so i'm glad to see him put in victory lane well let's give it up good job there third place not as good as he'd like but hey made the podium chase cavalry now where's robbie smith let's see if we can't get a word with robbie real quick Robbie, driver number 77, brought home the uh, main event win in the wing class. And, man, come home second in this one. So a pretty darn good night there. Robbie Smith, number 77, comes home second place. Let's give him a big hand. Robbie, how was it out there, brother? Uh, it was fun, uh, super technical. Um, seems like we're all almost holding each other up one lane on the bottom. But, you know, that's how it goes. It eventually moved down there, but it was pretty racy at first. But, you know, that's that's kind of just how it goes. But, I mean, this guy broke down, I think, six times on the way to uh, to uh, Jacksonville Thursday night and got back at 5 a.m., called out for work, worked on his car. He's like my big brother. I, I got a lot of respect for him, and, you know, it feels, you know, not too bad to be beat by him. I know uh, what, uh, you know, goes into his operations. So, um, awesome job, Zach. Um, thanks to everybody again. I wish we could have done it twice, but it's all good, so. All right, not bad. Riley Smith comes on second in the, number, in the number 77 car. And now let's get over here and talk to the Lineups are posted at the tower. Lineups Zach are posted Gorski, at Zach, the tower. One hell of a run out there, Bubba. I tell you what, man, I, I wasn't really prepared to see all those coaches. We got our rookies coming out, out on the front straight and, away. Man, restarts got to be We'll get this rookie uh, feature going. Race, I was just and, told that the 50-50s uh, to yeah, were working honestly, their way down one more row um, selling tickets, and then they would be up here. That's kind of... Growing up racing, that's what I've been good at. And thankfully, everything held together, chain stayed on. So you know, if we got to start really the rookie happened. feature, we then we'll just do the drawing for that after like the caution after caution rookie after feature. Caution. Thankfully, but I mean, on a long run, the car actually got better. Though.
All right, we're going to go ahead and get this rookie feature underway, get this one in the books, and we will um, we'll come back here and do the 50-50 drawing after the fact. Green flag is out. Ethan Warden with another good start. Moves immediately down to the inside, covering that groove up that last time he had left open. Nice, smart move. He was thinking ahead this time. Gamble back to second, though, already. And he's sure to be up there challenging quickly. Junior one to the grid. Junior one to the grid. Gamble with a quick slide job to the inside, but Warden pulls back up beside him, and now Gamble's going to clear him down the back straightaway. Elwood brings it up to the third position now. Wilkerson back to fourth. Jackson Hazelou still right there in fifth. And Peyton Brinson back there in the number 23 in six. They're catching the lap car to Brinson now. Everybody getting my couple to the inside, couple to the outside. Gamble continuing the lead. Ethan Warden still right there in second. Elwood now moving in in that third position, looking to try to make a challenge for that second. Connor Wilkerson still right there waiting to pounce if anything happens. Make sure those junior ones are at the grid. Junior one followed by junior two. Let's try to get everybody up to the grid on time. Okay. Two laps to go this time by for your leader. Colton Gamble. Gamble taking the white flag, putting another lap on Brinson. This could shake up that third and final podium position on the last lap as Elwood has the bottom lane left wide open. Here comes Wilkerson, but Elwood diving back to the bottom. Gamble's going to take the win. Warden will be second. Elwood holds on for third, and Wilkerson will be fourth. Jackson Hazelou will be fifth, and Brinson sixth. Colton Gamble! What's up, buddy? Great job. Good driving out there. You want to thank somebody? I want to thank my dad, my pit help, my brother, my papa, Corey, Corey Kryptonite, Kryptonite RPM. RPM. They're feeding him answers. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, good job, buddy. Ethan, great job. Who you want to thank somebody? My mom, my dad, Barry Tree Removal, and Corey Holly. Good job, buddy. Corey Holly getting all the thanks. 
Let me get some pictures real quick. All right, I know a few of y'all are waiting for this 50-50 drawing. They're finishing ripping up the tickets right now. There is a $100 bill to the winner tonight. $100 bill for that 50-50. They got a few more minutes of ticket ripping. Thank you to everybody who bought tickets. And as soon as they get through ripping all those up, getting them in there and getting them mixed up, They were in a pretty big hurry trying to get around the pits and get to as many people as they could. You got Parker Haley on the inside pole, this junior one feature. Hayden Erickson outside pole and Kelsey Wilkerson in the number six. She'll be bringing up the second row there. Parker Haley, your leader now. Hayden Erickson right there in second. Junior two, I need the junior twos to bring them to the grid and make sure you're ready to go, followed by junior three. Junior two, followed by junior three. All your junior classes tonight sponsored by Quality Marine Surplus, Dan Donaldson. Dan and Terry Donaldson. All right, we'll do this 50-50 drawing immediately following the junior one race. They got everything counted out and we got a yellow flag here. Looks like Wilkerson finding the dirt bank down here on the inside of turn four. Wilkerson will catch back up to the pack now. Junior two and junior three. Make sure you're at the grid ready to go. And I might as well start calling for them wing champ guys to make sure that they make it up there. Wing champ, you'll be the first adult class tonight. Wing champ, make sure you're up there and ready to go. And we'll go green next time by in your junior one feature event. Wilkerson finding that dirt bank down there one more time, and she is stuck.
We could get somebody back there to give her a hand. Here comes Andy and Rob. Green flag out, Junior Ones. Back to racing, Parker Haley, your leader. Hayden Erickson, second. Kelsey Wilkerson, third. And the side-by-side -side of the track crew was fourth as they came across the line. All our kids' classes tonight, heck, all of our classes, we're going to pay the winner 25 bucks, 15 bucks for second, and 10 bucks for third. And, hey, since it's only a $20 bill to race, somebody might actually go home with more money than they came with. It's only $5 for these kids to get in, so. 12 and under, or 12, 5 to 12, or, yeah, I'll get it right here in a second. 5 and under are free here. And 6 to 12 are only 5 bucks to get in. These kids in this class, your junior one, are all in that 8 to 10 age range. So they were all $5. Last time down the back straightaway, Parker Haley sailing it off into turn three, and he's going to bring home another victory. Hayden Erickson second, and Kelsey Wilkerson will be third. Parker Haley bringing it home tonight. Who do you want to thank? My dad, um, my crew chief missed out in tornado racing. Hayden, wheeling this thing. Go, girl. My family and my friends and my dad and my papa for helping me with the support and building it and making it run. Nice. Good job, Dad. I feel like I shouldn't have came tonight. Girl, you had a couple close calls. You scared me a little bit. It's the mama in me. <laughs> But you pulled it out, and you finished. Good job. Who do you want to thank? I want to thank my mom and dad and everybody who's been supporting me, and Mr. Tony and Clay for helping me with the tires and motor. You got these speeches down. I love it. All right, we're going to draw for 50-50. We're going to have Parker do it. One ticket, Parker. Is that, is that the winner? No. The winner fell out. Oh, no. Just kidding. Did I read it? Yep. 440310. 440310. Dad did not win. 
four four three zero. Oh wait, four four zero three one zero. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. Who that? Who that? Oh, we got a winner. Come on up. We'll check your ticket. All right, looks like we got a 50-50 winner. That was our Junior 1 class, and now we're bringing out the Junior 2s. You got Randy Smith out there on the pole, P.J. Rudiman outside pole, but Randy, Randy didn't get the memo, and he was front and center at the driver's meeting knowing that the flagman starts the race. That, and he's been doing this for about four or five years already. So now we'll see if Randy wants to hold it a little bit slower. He's got the five of Nelson right there on his bumper pushing him along. We, have to, we know they're trying to keep him tight right there. And I guess we're going green flag racing. Randy Smith is going to lead the first lap. Nelson second. P.J. Rudiman looking for a way around, though. He'll move up a little high, cross back down low. He's got a good run down the back straightaway. Zachary's around in turn two. They're just going to let him roll. And Rudiman down in turn three going to take the position away. Hayden Starks dooring the five of Nelson there in the corner. And another door. And now he's got the position. I just call him like I see him. Out front, you got Randy Smith. Rudiman now riding a good second. The 25 of Starks and the five of Nelson back there battling it out for third. Junior three, you should be at the grid ready to go. Junior three at the grid ready to go. Wing champ, you'll be right behind junior three, followed by run what you brung. Zachary wasn't going to be able to get out of the way that time. So junior three should be on the grid ready. Wing champ right behind them, followed by run what you brung. We'll cruise through these features as quickly as possible. This is going to bunch them back up, give Rudiman a shot at Randy Smith. All your junior divisions tonight, sponsored by Quality Marine Surplus. TZ Motorsports throwing in the rest of the money on the pot for all the junior divisions tonight. If you need any parts, TZ Motorsports parts trailer right here on site, local to the Marion County area. We've got the concession stand over there too tonight.
Old Fart Racing, our trophy sponsor for all our junior divisions. They're going to go back to green this time by, and Randy Smith, he's ready to go at the first cone in turn three. He wants to go racing, and everybody else was left thinking about it. Three wide, and that one did not work out well for anybody. That should uh, bring out the caution. We have a, a few kids that are a little over anxious tonight. Going to get back to green flag racing here. They're scattering them out there. Randy Smith, the only one in a safe position up there up front. This is going to bring out the white flag. P.J. Rudiman, second. Zach Zachary back to third, but he's got Starks right there behind him. They're going to go down the back straightaway one more time. Down through three and four, Randy Smith is going to win this one. Rudiman will be second. Zachary will be third. Starks and Nelson. Randy Smith, good job, buddy. What do you want to say? Thing. Anything, anything at all. Yes. That's it. Thanks, Dad. Corey, David. Thanks. Thanks, Corey. Thank, thank you, Corey, Holly, and RPM Power, and my dad and my stepmom. Okay, so he's a little shy with the mic, but not behind the wheel. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh. P. 
PJ Rudiman. What's up, buddy? Who do you want to thank? Uh, my grandpa, my Uncle Sean, my dad, my, um, uh, Aunt Tiffany, and Blue Gator sponsoring. Okay, we're going to get a quick picture. Zach, Zachary, pulling it out into third. A little sweaty here. Who do you want to thank? Uh, Jeff Star Racing for building my motor. Uh, I love how they never remember. <laughs> Kryptonite Racing and Charles Smith. And they always get fed behind the ear by the parents. Try to get this show back underway here. Junior three feature event. Hannah Smith starting on the pole. Caitlin Booth going to try to lead it down into one. They're side by side. Hannah Smith to the front, Booth second, Zachary third. Here comes Travis Brown down the inside. Hannah Smith getting a little bit of the dirt bank down there. Travis Brown one more time. Now he brings it to fourth. He's going to try to bring Nelson with him. Aiden Sykes right there. We got contact. Aiden Sykes getting into the side of Travis Brown.
Get them all woed up here. Try to get this thing back underway. Hannah Smith going to lead him back around. Green flag is out. Smith still your leader. Booth second, Zachary third. But here comes Travis Brown looking for a way around. Travis Brown been getting a little faster every week. He's right up here with the leaders tonight, making a good showing. C.J. Nelson in that 03 also running pretty good. Zachary wobbling really hard there. That allows Brown to really close in. Also loses some more ground on the leaders. It's going to be a two-cart race at this point for the win. Booth going to have to find a way to make up a little ground. Brown now looking to the outside, back to the inside on Zachary. Brown with the line, and it looks like he's going to take that third position away. Brown to third, two laps to go. We got one around in the dirt bank down there. Looks like uh, Aiden Sykes, Aiden Sykes. Hannah Smith continuing the lead here after we're back to green. And now it's Zachary challenging Brown for that third. He's going to lose some momentum hitting that back bumper, though. White flag is out. Smith, Booth, Brown, your top three. Booth got a little wobbly there on turn two. That allowed Brown to pull up on her. And we've got contact back there. Everybody saves it. Hannah Smith's going to be your winner. Booth, Zachary Brown. They were all bobbled up over there in turn three, and it allowed for some switching of positions.
Miss Hannah Smith. What you got to say, girl? I want to thank my dad, Kryptonite Racing and RPM Motors, and Corey Holly. Well, she talks better than her brother. Good job, girls. Miss Caitlin Booth. What you got to say? Um, I'd like to thank Florida Forest, uh, Fort Boy Airboats, my Nana, my family, Timber, and Chemical Chaos for the tires, and Greg Wash for the motor. Are you reading the stickers off the carts? Good job. Way to cheat her. <laughs> cheat notes. Well, that was a hard-fought battle, but you did it. Timothy, Zachary, who do you want to thank? Uh, I want to thank my dad for making this possible. I want to thank Charles Smith with Kryptonite Racing, as well as Corey Hawley for setting everything up and getting me ready. And I want to thank Jeff Starr for the motor. So he's got the speech down. Wing champs taking the green flag here. These guys like to invert it on the start. So Virgil Andrews going to be your leader of LO second. Here comes OJ Seawright down the outside. Tim Seawright now coming through the third. Like something had happened to Mike Perkins. He didn't make it out here for the feature, so it's going to be a battle between the Seawright family up front. OJ in the Sense cars, him in the 65. Run What You Brung, you're on deck, followed by Box Stock 400. Run What You Brung, Box Stock 400. Run what you brung in the grid, box stock 400, you're behind them. OJ Seawright still your leader, Tim Seawright second. Virgil Andrews still holding down that third. Trying to make his way back to the podium. Two laps to go. Run what you brung, you're on deck. Make sure you're ready to go. Run what you brung, make sure you're ready to go. Followed by box stock 400. White flag will be in the air for OJ Seawright. They may catch the card of Avello. We'll see if it comes into play here. They're going to catch him on this final lap. Avello low. OJ Seawright high. Clears him. Not quite. Leaves the bottom wide open. But 
When they come down the line, Avello getting around to the dirt bank, trying to stay clear, and that's going to give the win to C. Wright, O.J. C. Wright, Tim C. Wright will be second, and Virgil Andrews third. All right, these guys take a little minute to get out of the cart. Mr. O.J. Seawright, who do you want to thank? Well, first of all, I want to thank the Lord and then thank my wife for putting up with me racing for all these years. I thank Timmy for helping us with tires and just uh, every our whole group, everybody works together to make this happen. So we thank every one of them, appreciate them. That is awesome. All these guys come together and they all race together and they always have so much fun. And even though how they finished in the heat, they opted to invert the field so that they could give the other guys a chance. So Mr. Tim C. writes, who would you like to thank? Well, dad and everybody, like he said, everybody helps us. I had a problem with a motor in practice. That's why we were so late getting up here. We were trying to change everything out. And I was wondering where you were. And the little motor just don't quite have as much as the big motor. But you're getting it. You're getting it dialed it's in. Good, it's a good race. You're getting there. So it's, we have fun. That's what we're here to do. Always. That's what counts. And Mr. Virgil Andrews coming up in third. Who do you want to thank? Well, I got to thank o Uncle OJ, Timmy, Mike Perkins with Perkins Cleaning, um, Cars Race for a Dream. Uh, I had a couple angels driving with me this week. We lost Tom, um, Tommy Steyer from Arbordale Speedway last season. And we also lost Hunter Fawcett last September. So, and then one of our Cars kids that passed away last year, Jaden. So I just want to shout out all the angels I got riding with this cart. Okay. <laughs> all right, great job, guys. Let me get off the track, because the run with your brung is coming on!
All right. All right, we'll get this thing going here again. We got the Run What You Brung feature. Looks like we got Dan Donaldson out there, Dustin Mitch, Rich Hill, and Tim Zachary. Don't know what happened to Johnny Zachary. I don't have a word on that one. They just hand signaled me something. I don't know what it meant, but we're going green. Whoa, Rich Hill going for the e-ticket right into the dirt bank, and that's going to bring the caution flag out. Box Stock 400, you're on deck. Box Stock 400, you're on deck. Followed by Predator 375, Crate 375. Predator 375 and Crate 375, you'll follow them Box Stock 400s. Johnny Zachary has joined the field. We didn't have a lap complete, so this race hasn't officially really begun yet. That'll work out pretty good for him. He can still be in contention. He was your points leader. Dan Donaldson going to try to get to the point here. Dustin Mitch right there with him, and this time Johnny Zachary into the dirt bank. Lots of dirt flying through the air tonight as he's run what your brung's trying to get him wound up. They'll whip them back into line as quick as they can here. Donaldson wasn't ready for that. Um, Flagman did not give them very much notice that they were going green, and it really, that one really cost Donaldson. Down the turn three, Dustin Mitch, your leader. Hill second. And Hill getting around. Flagman holds the caution on that one. Box stock 400, box stock 400, you're on deck, box stock 400, followed by Predator and Crate. Halfway home in this run what you brung feature. We've got two of them around Zachary and Donaldson over here. Johnny Zachary, Dan Donaldson getting around. Donaldson may need someone with a starter over there. He's got that two stroke. Trying to make sure if he can get it fired up. See if he's still got his guy over there on the grid that cranks him. They're going to try to push start him. If we get a four-wheeler over there, he will push start. There he goes. 
Rob Swift and Son over there are giving a push and getting him going. Appreciate it, guys. Dustin Mitch has been leading this one throughout. All right. Caution was on the 11. He'll go to the rear. That moves Donaldson up to second. I think he just spun to avoid. Mitch fires and Donaldson did not get a good start again. He'll try to get it wound up on the outside this time and get a run down the back straightaway. Down into turn three. Donaldson sails it around the top. Gets clear, brings it to second. Now he'll see if he can do anything with Dustin Mitch. There. Pointing at something down in turn four. Apparently there's a muffler in turn four. That's not good. Looks like Johnny Zachary stopping, picking his muffler up. And he'll bring it to the pits. Not a good way to end the night. Mufflerless. So this is your run what you brung feature. They're starting to dwindle down a little bit here in the count as the night goes on. Box stock 400 is on deck, followed by Predator 375 and Crate 375. Dustin Mitch brings them back to green. Tim Zachary tries to pull up beside Dan Donaldson, but no can do. Donaldson pulls him down the back straightaway. These laps are winding down. Donaldson will have a couple of shots here at Mitch. Dustin Mitch has been looking a lot smoother this feature race, so. Can Donaldson do anything with him? The laps are coming down to the end here. Donaldson looks to the inside, looks to the outside. Two laps to go. Donaldson swinging it out wide. Dustin Mitch with a good run down the back straightaway. Here comes Donaldson back up on him one more time. Runs all the way around the top. Let's see if he can get a run again. He loses momentum on that one. White flag in the air. Dustin Mitch one more time around. Donaldson. Not quite going to have enough. It doesn't look like as Dustin Mitch down into three and four one more time. And Dustin Mitch is going to win this one. Donaldson second and Tim Zachary third.
So it takes the whole crew to get you out of the cart, but it was all worth it. It's past my bedtime. It's past my bedtime, too. Who do you want to thank? Dustin Mitch. I want to thank this whole crew I got here to stand behind me at the shop every week, in and out, make sure this cart gets out here and runs. We put on a good show tonight, I think. Yep. So. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Had to give myself confirmation. Yep. Yep. All right, Dan Donaldson rolling up here to get his second place. I feel like you fight so hard out here with all these wedge bodies, but you look so good with this little wing just flopping around out there. So who do you want to thank? I want to thank uh, my family that's here, which is my pit crew. Uh, we enjoy it here. Uh, thank God and God bless America. We that's enjoy right. it here. That's right. yep. Great job, Dan. Tim Zachary holding it out, outlasted the rest of the field, finishing third. Who do you want to thank? This girl right here, this young lady. This beautiful lady. My wife, yes, my wife, for letting me do this. <laughs> yeah, good job, wife. <laughs> Box stock 400 on the track now. Predator 375 followed by Crate 375. You're on the grid. Predator then Crate. You got Billy Newhouse out there on the pole. Brian Horton in the number... 41 outside pole. Number 14. Brandon Holland out there. Getting turned back around now. You want to rejoin the pack. The double zero of Mims and the three of Brogan rounding out your 400s tonight.
Okay. Well, good luck with hunting season. Yeah, appreciate mm -hmm. it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And we're going to get ready to go back to green here. Newhouse and Horton leading them down the front straight away. Mims down the inside of Holland there, trying to get up to the fourth position. Predator 375, Predator 375, followed by Crate 375. Need the Predator 375, followed by the Crate 375. Y'all need to be over at the grid, Predators and Crates. Buckstock 400 on the track now. Billy Newhouse, the leader. He's got Brian Horton right there behind him, waiting for him to make any kind of bobble. Halfway home this time by. Newhouse still your leader. As they spread them out a little bit, Newhouse, Horton, and Mims, two laps to go. Predator 375, you're on deck, followed by Crate 375. Predator, then Crate. Box stock 350, y'all need to be getting ready. You'll be following those crates. White flag in the air. Billy Newhouse, one more time around. Trying to make it at least a couple in a row here. Off a of turn four, Billy Newhouse going to take home another win. Brian Horton second, Mims third, and Holland will be fourth. Billy Newhouse, you were on a rail. <laughs> Who do you want to thank? Uh, I'd like to thank Victor Peters for the motor, uh, Curtis Prep for the setup, Danielle, thank you for the shirts. I'll text her in the middle of the week. Hey, can you do this? Really, Billy? So, it's what shirt are you sporting tonight? This Turn around. October, October breast cancer awareness. <laughs> uh. Action Labor of Ocala, Tool Doctor of Ocala, uh, Timmy, Bill, everybody, thank y'all. Oh my God, I cannot forget my son, Tyler. 
He's up north working. Hey, do it to it, buddy. Uh, I like to thank, actually, uh, Kyle, too. He comes every week and helps me. No, we don't like Kyle. <laughs> she just comes to watch. <laughs> Allie comes for me. Ready? Brian Horton bringing it home in second. Who do you want to thank, buddy? Corey Holly, Charles Smith, and David Rowland. That's it? That's it? All right. Short and sweet. I like it. I'm number two. I'm number two. Mr. Mike Mims bringing it home in third. That was. You had it going. Who do you want to thank? How about that? Uh, we haven't raced go-karts in years. I want to thank Sean Rudeman, my cart owner, Tiffany, for letting me drive it. Captain Bob over there at the Blue Gator. Y'all go down there and see him. They got the best entertainment around. Uh, just having fun. Yeah, you got dirt all over your glasses, by the way. Test test. Predator feature on the track now. Randy Glick, your leader. Cole Lawson, second. Brian LaFrance, third. I need the Crate 375 to the grid, followed by Box Stock 350, and Masters will round out the night. Crate 350, Box Stock 350, and Masters to round out the night. Predator 375, these are your Harbor Freight engines. Six and a half horsepower, unmodified, or at least they're supposed to be. And if you think you can tinker with them, well, try to slide one by the tech man, but it probably won't work out well for you. We got one back there slowing down. That might be Grism. It is not running well for him. He's out here shaking one down for our veterans race that's coming up. And he may have to go and grab another Harbor Freight engine, but hey, they're only 99 bucks, so. Halfway home, Predator 375. Randy Glick giving a point to the flagman, saying, hey, I'm looking at you. We discussed this a little bit earlier, making sure that people are actually looking at the flagman. Amazing how many drivers never see the flagman. We'll roll back into the field a little deeper here. You got John Greer in the 28X running fourth. First time racer with us here tonight, David Holly in the 24H. And Pompa Sig back there in the number 28. 
Papa Sig, Old Far Racing. He is the sponsor of all of our trophies for our kids' classes for the entire season, and he sponsors our veterans races. So the week of Veterans Day that we're out here racing, we will have a Predator 375 race that is just for veterans and first responders. The Marion County Sheriff's Honor Guard will be here. And there may be a few other surprises that night. Big night ahead on the week of Veterans Day here at the Bull Ring. Right now, though, we got two laps or one lap to go as Randy Glick brings it off a of turn four. Looking for a victory here at the Bull Ring tonight. LaFrance trying to find a way around Lawson. But this one's going to be all Randy Glick. Glick taking home a victory. Checkered flag in the air. Got him one. Cole Lawson second. LaFrance third. Greer. Holly and Papa Sig rounding out the field. Randy Glick in this rocket ship. I seen that hand going up in the air like, hell yeah. Who do you want to thank? Charles Smith first, Corey Holly, uh, my grandparents, my uncle, uh, most definitely, Eddie Tillander with Aspar Automotive and Customs. If you need anything, come by and see us. Um, also, I'd like to thank a new sponsor who's going to come on board, Ocala Heat and Air. My brother works for him. So uh, I'm hoping to keep this going. Um, first, first win here. I got a lot of seconds and thirds, but yep, first win here. I feel like you run here a lot, and it's okay. Good. Well, congratulations. Great job. Hold your flag, man. Let me get your picture. Cole Lawson in second place. Who do you want to thank? Uh, Chris Grau and Brandon Watson for getting me in the sport and Adam for helping out with the cart. Is that your brother? Yeah. Yeah, you look alike. So you have some dirt on your glasses there. Yes. Okay. You know they can't see without their glasses. That's why I wear contacts. Good job. All right, Bryant LaFrance bringing it home in third. Who do you want to thank, buddy? Uh, TZ Motorsports, Paul Grant Electric, my wife and kids at home, uh, and Bill for the track. It was, it was a blast. <laughs> yeah, good Thank track you. tonight. Good job, guys.
Crate 375 on the track now. Box stock 350, you're on the grid, followed by the Masters. Box stock 350 and Masters, you're at the grid. Crates, here we go, racing. Buzz Grizzab. Erickson ducks into second. And he's going to see if he can be one of the first ones to hang with Buzz, Buster Grizzab this year. Elizabeth Phillips right there in third. Chris Grawl looking to the inside of Phillips. Chris Grawl down the back straight away to the inside. And looks like he's going to be able to take that position away. Moving up to third. Here comes Phillips back on the outside. She's not done yet. Down the front straightaway, though, Chris Graw taking the position. And we've got a challenge for the lead. Here comes Erickson, but Phillips into the bank. We thought she may stay there, but she took a pretty good shot. She's kind of wiping the car, shaking the cobwebs off on that one. We've seen some dirt flying. She's still shaking the cobwebs off on that one. And the green flag is back in the air. Grizzab resumes the lead. We'll see if Erickson can get up there and make another challenge. Grawl now in third. He might want to get in on this one. Box stock 350, you're on deck. Box stock 350 on deck, followed by Masters 375. Halfway home, crate racing. Grizzab still up front. He's got a little bit of distance now between himself and Erickson. Graw and Phillips still right there. Two laps to go. Buster Grizzab, still your leader. He'll be looking at the white flag this time by. Graw hopping in the seat, trying to get a little bit of anything more to get up to Erickson. Checkered flag, Buster Grizzle is going to take this one home. Erickson second, Graw third, and Phillips fourth.
Buster. Didn't look like you had good luck with the other cart, no. but you had this one rolling. Who do you want to thank? I want to thank everyone for coming out and watching tonight and, and Tim uh, making sure we got parts in there and when we need them because I needed one. And uh, yeah, and uh, I want to thank uh, Hi Mom and Tom and Lexi <laughs> and I want to thank Lisa for coming out and working with us and thank you guys for having the track and the sponsors that we have and which, who's this one? TM Automotive and Performance, yes. Todd Mayton. Yes, thank you very much. And the Vegas for last week, uh, was it TNS for the Vegas last week? Yeah, or last race? Yes. yes, yes. Thank you, TS. Appreciate it. Good. Thank, thank you, you for coming out and racing with us. I was going to ask if somebody lost a glove, but it was just a little rubber glove. So stop leaving your gloves on the track, people. James Erickson, good job, buddy. Oh, I had fun. That's all I come out here to do. Yeah. Anybody you want to thank? My dad, uh, my son, my daughter, uh, Ridge Hill, and uh, Brandon Holland. All right. Got you a little trophy tonight, boy. All right, Chris Graw. Graw, rolling it up into third. Who do you want to thank? Joe Myers for the cart setup and, um, you know, doing my tires will help me with my tires. And, um, and then Brian Scutt, you know, for always having parts and my little quick gear changes. So thanks, guys. Nice. Good job. Good job. All right, box stock 350 feature about to get underway here, and the Masters are the last feature of the night to follow them. If you got a tab over at the parts trailer, we ask you to go over there and take care of that before you take off tonight. Again, if you have a tab at the parts trailer, please get over there and take care of that one before you take off tonight. Charles Smith and Charlie Smith, front row. Dylan Sanderson tucking it in a third. Smith and Smith up front. Dylan Sanderson to the bottom. He's going to try to take that second position away. Looks like he's got Hill trying to come with him. Here comes Hill to the bottom. Hill will go to second. Corey Mitchell now sliding through to fourth. And we've got some contact. And this is going to take a few carts. Dale Rogers taking the E-ticket airborne ride. And... Uh, I can't believe he's still rolling. I mean, he had all four wheels off the ground, went up and over a cart. And he's waving the hand in the air and saying, I might need a little bit of attention back here. So we'll get them all lined back up. It is there. Was that a complete lap? All right, there was a completed lap. So as they came across the line, it'll be that completed lap.
I'll try to get this one back underway. One lap in the book. Charlie, Charles Smith up front. Charlie Smith was second. Dylan Sanderson already to the inside. Or excuse me, not Charlie Smith. Dylan Sanderson was second. Hill right there. In third, Corey Mitchell fourth. And we got him around again off of two. And we'll try again. Back to green flag racing. They're mixing it up one more time over there in one and two, but it looks like they made it through this time. Charles Smith, your leader, and you got a battle for second there between Hill and Sanderson. Now Hill bringing it back to second. Now Sanderson back to the inside. Now straighten him out there, and Hill will have advantage into the corner, but Sanderson's still got a little bit of line on that bottom, a little bit of room to move. Mitchell still right there in fourth. Charlie Smith fifth. Here comes Charlie Smith trying to use the dirt bank maybe to get by. Wasn't quite enough room there for all that. Bryson Chauncey right there behind them. Leading that second pack. Trevor Tharp. He's got a challenge to the inside right now from Zane Caleb. Dale Rogers is going to make it three wide out there on that one, and he chooses not to. Back to the front, though, halfway home, Charles Smith. He's your leader. you got a crazy battle now for third. Sanderson getting shuffled all the way back to fifth, and now Mitchell up to third. Dale Rogers getting around up off of two. He's going to get it back underway. Leader's closing in, so he needs to get it rolling. Charles Smith making the most of that little black groove around the bottom. Meanwhile, Charlie Smith has been on the left rear tire of Corey Mitchell about five times or more during this race. Two laps to go. Smith has cleared the first lap cart. 
White flag will be out this time by one more time around for Charles Smith. On the back straightaway, Charles Smith has still got it. That battle for third is about to get crazy. Smith will win. Hill will be second, and the battle for third is going to go to Charlie Smith. Mitchell fourth, and Sanderson fifth. Chauncey is going to be sixth. Charles Smith. Who do you want to thank? Uh, I want to thank my wife for putting up with this. I don't thank her much, but I should. She does put up with a lot. Yeah. Um, I want to thank Corey Holly right there. The best. RPM, David. And I mean, they got this motor back last time we raced in a box and got it right back to me. And just good people, you know. And just, just today, I'm just not feeling that well. Of course, so. okay now? Yeah. I, yeah. Go get something to eat. Is it dinner time? Yeah. Let's get a picture real quick. All right. Thank you, Randy. Tyler Hill, how long has it been? Since you've been in a car. <laughs> it's been uh, about two years. Nice. Great job, buddy. Cool. <laughs> uh, Who do you want to thank? Uh, so my dad put me in this. Uh, Austin gave me all these tips. Peyton gave me all these tips. Uh, my wife at home watching. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. <laughs> Family affair right here. All right, Charlie Smith, Charles' son, pulling it out in third. Who do you want to thank? RPM, Corey Holly, my family. That's about it. That's all, folks. Masters 375 final feature of the night. Let's go racing. 
Dale Rogers, after taking the ride through the air in the 350 class, is going to try to come back and get himself a win. He's missing part of the right front of the cart. Richard Booth right there in the number 17 to the inside. Going to try to take this lead away. Rogers powers down the front straight away. We got him hooked up on the front straight away. Booth and the double zero getting together. Booth kind of shook him off. That moves Joe Lundy up to second. Masters division, 35 and up on the age, and Joe Lundy with the dirt bank and keep on rolling. Joe is going to be bringing home quite a bit of clay with him tonight. He has found the bank a few times, but he seems like he's having a good time. That's what it's all about. Anybody who didn't come here to have a good time or didn't leave with a smile on their face, it's probably you. <laughs> One more time, if you got a tab over at the parts trailer, please go over there and take care of that. Everybody with a tab at the parts trailer, we appreciate it if you go take care of that before you take off tonight. Lundy around in two one more time. He's still going. Halfway home, Masters 375. Winding this one down quickly. Dale Rogers. That cart has got to be bent somewhere as hard a lick as he's took a few times tonight. Obviously got an exhaust leak. And he's still leading. Two laps to go for Dale Rogers. I've seen Dale winning some races up at Maxville, up there at JIR, and it looks like he might come down here and take one tonight. He's got one more time to go. Through turn one and two one more time. The double zero's close, but it don't look like he's going to be close enough. He's been closing ground every lap, but Dale Rogers is going to hang on to win this one. The double zero second. Booth in the 17 third. And Joe Lundy in the, in the zero will bring it home in fourth. She strategically placed the sign in front of the gaping hole to cover the injuries. Oh, my God. It's completely off. I'm sorry. You're DQ'd. I'm just playing. Dale Rogers, great job, buddy. Thank Took you. a little leap in the last race, but you recovered nicely. Who do you want to thank? Uh, RGM Motorsports and Prep, Mr. Geezer, Joe Lundy. And my wife for putting up with it. <laughs> nice. Good job.
Richard Boyer. What's up, buddy? You earned that spot. I had a blast tonight. I came to the track just planning on uh, showing up and helping these guys out and stuff. And and uh, they asked me, you want to run this thing in the Masters? I'm like, I've never driven a go-kart other than a few laps in the backyard of somebody's house. And uh, I uh, said, sure, why not? What the heck? So um, I want to thank the whole Rudiman family, Sean especially, and uh, Mike Mims. He's actually the pilot of this thing normally, I think. So he uh, was instrumental in making this all happen. And uh, thank my wife for letting me do this. So this was a blast. Huge shout out to all the wives tonight. I got to make sure I thank Blue Gator too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have to thank Blue Gator. Wait, I'm Came to watch and took home some hardware. Look at that. <laughs> All right, Mr. Richard Booth, look at you pulling out third. Who do you want to thank? Uh, I'd like to thank everybody that helps us out, helps us with her cart. Uh, thank Austin, my daughter, and her friend Timber for helping me out in the pits. My mom, she come out and help us out a little bit tonight. And uh, my wife back home. And uh, everybody that supports her racing. Telling you, all the race wives, they got it going on. Big thanks to all the race wives. All right, this crazy lady's getting off the mic. 